Have you been stuck in your business, trying to grow it, trying to scale it? Maybe you feel overwhelmed. You feel like things are chaotic and they're not really moving forward, but you are working super hard. Well, I want to share with you in this video exactly the things that stop business owners and entrepreneurs from moving forward and really being able to scale and grow their business. Now, when you're just starting out, you know, you probably start your business because you're good at something, right? So maybe you're a good plumber or maybe you're a good marketer. And so you decide that you're going to start this business. But here's what happens. You get into that business and you you have to do everything, right? You have to do the marketing and you have to do the selling and you have to do the delivering and you have to be the financial person and you have to know everything there is to know about business and you're trying to do it all. And it doesn't take very long before you start burning out, you become exhausted or your business just isn't moving forward. And this is so common in every business owner and entrepreneur on the planet goes through this when they get started. So here's the first thing I want to tell you. When you get to a place in your business where you're doing more than 10 to 12 hours a week delivering the service, so you're no longer working on the business, you're no longer marketing, you're no longer selling, you're actually delivering whatever it is you do. When you are doing more than 10 to 12 hours a week in your business, you are already losing money. All right. It's really important to understand this. So when you get to a place where you're working more than 10 hours a week doing the thing that your business is all about, it is time to start hiring help. And that means you should be taking some of that money you're making and investing it back into your business. See, one of the problems that people have when they start their business is they start keeping all the money. And so for that reason, they never have any money to really move their business forward, hire the help they need. So it's really important that even as a startup, and I don't typically work with startups, but even as a startup, it's really important important that you're taking about 50% of everything that you make and you're putting it into a bank account and you're using it for the growth of your business, for the growth of your company. Okay. Then when you get yourself to a place where you're working more than 10 hours a week, you have got to start hiring some help. Now this might start out as a virtual assistant, someone to manage the phones, someone to do all of kind of the admin work and, and all of the back end work, the, the paperwork, the, the administrative stuff that maybe is holding you back. That maybe is your first hire or someone to help you in your office. That's maybe your first hire. But what you have to do is you really have to look at, okay, what do I need to get off of my plate so that I can do what I need to do to grow my business? Really important. Now, if you are, uh, let's say you're a contractor or a plumber, you need to hire someone else to do the work and you need to start working on the business. And again, yes, you have to invest back into your business. Okay. And you have to make sure that you're never really taking more than 50% out of your business. Now this will change as your business grows and scales, but this is the first step. So this is one of the hurdles that really business owners and entrepreneurs have to overcome. It's one of the very first hurdles. What's my first hire? What's the thing that I need the most right now so that I can continue to work and grow my business? Now, here's what I will tell you. Don't outsource your marketing until you understand marketing. You need to improve your skills to really understand marketing, to understand sales, to understand finance. You need to understand the things that make businesses work. All right. And it, just knowing your trade or your skill is not enough. I want you to realize that when you had decided to become a business owner, you changed roles. You're no longer the whatever, no longer the plumber, no longer the contractor, no longer the uh, marketer, right? You're no longer the web designer. You have just changed roles when you decided to go into business for yourself. You have to take off that hat and you have to put on the business owner hat or the CEO hat. You have to become the CEO of your company. You cannot get to a million dollars or your first million dollars in your business if you don't start thinking like a CEO and acting like a CEO of your company. So this is step number one, all right? 
put money back into your business, become the CEO. This is, this is the most important thing to be able to move your business forward. So this is the first place people get stuck. Now, the next place they get stuck is they don't want to let go of control. They're like, I, if I if I put bring somebody else in, they can't do it as good as me. You know, I'm the best. I, and so here's the thing. If you're thinking like a CEO, that means you have to hire the right people, right? And so you have to have a system or a process. You have to really dial in who is a good fit for your company, who's a good fit for you, for your culture, all of those decisions that you need. There's a lot of moving parts to growing and scaling a business. There just is. There's a lot to learn. And so, but here's the thing. If you always think that everything's uh, only, you know, you're as, you're the company, if you are the company, if you're the, the only person that can deliver things the way you can deliver and you don't have systems and processes in place to duplicate yourself or to turn that job over to someone else, you should just be happy where you are because that's all you're ever going to have. That's all you're ever going to get. All right. So you've got to learn to let go of control. But the best way to let go of control is to make sure, number one, you're hiring the right people. They fit your business. They fit you. They fit your culture. All right. This is super important. But you also need to realize that now you've got to make sure that they can be a you. They, you can duplicate yourself. And if you really are the best at what you do, then how can you find someone who can be just as good? And here's the thing that I have found working with hundreds of business owners through the years is you know, and I made this mistake too, building multiple businesses. I thought no one could do it like I could. I thought only my customers and clients would want me because I'm the reason they joined my business or came to my business, right? Are you thinking this way or have you thought this way? And here's what I realized is that actually when you bring in great people and you train great people to, to do what you do, they typically can do it better than you uh, because now that's the only thing they have to focus on. And if you are trying to focus on all of these other things that go on with business, really, are you the best? Really? So you have to let go of control and having systems and processes and the right training and all of those things in place to basically put that uh, into someone else's hands is really powerful. Now, here is a secret, though. You cannot just take your hands off the wheel. This is a mistake I see people make as well. So they bring in help, they bring in a manager, they bring in people to help them grow their company, but they take their hands off the wheel. So a good example of this is you bring in a manager and you put systems and tracking systems and all of these things in place, but you let the manager run it and you don't pay any more attention, okay? That's a huge mistake. You have got to manage the people. You've got to manage the systems. You've got to manage the processes. You cannot just remove yourself completely and take your hands off the wheel. Now, there will come a day when you can probably do that and you can just run your business from afar by the financials and by what's going on in the company. And yes, you can do that. But for a long time in your business, as you're growing that business, as you're scaling that business to millions of dollars, maybe your first million or millions of dollars, you still have to be in the business, all right? You still have to be working on the business. I shouldn't say in the business. You need to be working on the business. And so it's really, really important. But the first thing that has to shift with any of this that I'm talking about is right here. You've got to shift your mindset. And again, you've got to realize that if you really want massive growth in your company, then you have to be the person that's going to grow that company. Now, eventually you can bring in a CEO and you, when your business is making money and you know, you've got all the, the funds and everything to do all of that, then yes, you can hire a high level CEO to come in and run your company. And then you're basically a silent person in the company, but it will take you a while to get to that place. All right. We're talking, it needs to be making millions of dollars typically to be in that place. So what keeps entrepreneurs and business owners from moving forward? There's really one thing. Guess what it is? You. You, we are our own worst enemy in our business. We are the reason our business succeeds or our business fails. We are the reason our business grows or our business gets stuck. If you're the leader of your company, 
guess where the buck stops? It stops with you. It stops with me. I'm no different. I built multiple businesses. I had to find these things out for myself as well. So let me just reiterate a few of the things that I talked about. What's going to be your first hire? What would be, make the most sense for you and your business so that you can grow your business? Are you putting about 50% back into your business? That's really key. Don't take all the money. Don't keep all the money. You've got to work hard to make sure that you can make a good income and you can still invest back into your business. All right. What's the third thing I talked about? You've got to make sure that you take off the whatever hat that you're doing and you've got to make sure that you put on the CEO or the business owner hat. This is really important. And don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Work on the business, right? It's important. And I talked about making sure that you understand the things that go on to make a business work. Now, I'm going to tell you flat out, you should get a coach or a consultant because it's your fastest path, it's your easiest path, and you don't have to take years learning what someone like myself who's been in business for 41 years already knows. You can just get that knowledge and that information quickly, and you don't have to really become the expert at everything. You can have someone helping you make the right decisions and guide you in your business. So I can't stress enough Working with a coach or a consultant is one of the most powerful things you can do in your business. I would love to help you if you're ready to grow and scale your business and you feel like you're getting stuck, stuck in the weeds, right? And it's not moving forward. I would love to help you be able to move your business forward. Now, I will say your business needs to be doing at least $250,000 because unless it is doing that, you still have some work to do. But typically around that $250,000 mark as a small business owner or as an entrepreneur, that's typically where you will start getting stuck. Okay, so that's where I love to come in and help people just like you. So your fastest path is a coach or a consultant, but I have shared with you multiple things here that can help you really grow your business. And remember, you are the reason truly why your business will succeed or why your business will fail or why your business will get stuck. Again, the buck stops with you. You're the leader, so it all is dependent on what you do and the decisions that you make in your company. So I hope this is helpful. I'm Ann Carden. I'm an international business and marketing consultant. I help people accelerate their growth, really scale and grow their business to higher levels faster. And I keep them on course. And I really help them streamline their business, implement the things they need into their business so they can reach the goals that they have in their business. All right. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and also make sure you hit that bell so that when a new video gets uploaded every single week, you will be notified. I'm here to help you grow and scale your business. Be amazing. People are looking for what you do. Have a great day. Bye-bye.